Hey guys, I had a request to do this video, so I just thought I'd do a real quick overview on this particular question, and that is if you have a dual fuel system, what should you set your lockout temperature at? And so what I'm talking about is, you know, a dual fuel system, uh, you know, there's lots of different fancy ways to describe it, but in general, we're just talking about an outdoor heat pump system, not air conditioner, a heat pump system with some sort of fossil fuel backup inside, not electric heat strips. And so in a lot of cases, the way these systems work is it will read the outdoor temperature and it will shift from that heat pump. If it gets cold enough, it'll shut off the outdoor unit and then burn gas. You know, so if that's a gas furnace or whatever type of heat it is. And so the question is, what should I set that lockout at? My answer to that question is, there is no answer to that question. I believe that the sweet spot, if you want to call it the sweet spot, whatever that temperature should be, is going to be different in every market. Depending on where you are in the country, that temperature might be different. And it will also be different depending on what type of system you have in your home. And then finally, I think the last variable would be the type of system you have. So let's go through that. If you're in a really cold climate of the country and you maybe have an older home, it doesn't hold heat as well, you might want to burn a little more fuel and have that lockout a little higher so that way the burning of the fuel can keep your home warm. But at the same time, if you're in a milder part of the country and you rarely get those cold nights and you want to save on gas, well, then you might set that temperature a little lower. The second of those variables I touched on is the type of system you have. And ultimately, we could go back and forth on all kinds of different scenarios. But the one thing I want you to get to thinking about is as we move on, as we keep going down this road, uh, you know, I, I touched on it five years ago and I talked about inverter systems and as time has gone on and, you know, especially in the past year, I've talked about inverter systems even more. And then I believe in the very near future, you're going to find a time where all systems are going to be needing to be above 18 SEER or 20 SEER. And so the majority of systems sold, I'm not saying all, but the majority of systems that you're going to see sold on the market are going to be some sort of inverter type system. One thing we're seeing that I've never seen before in my career is inverter systems that are able to operate at such a lower ambient temperature outside than ever before. When I first started doing this, if you had a heat pump system and it got cold outside, that heat pump would start to struggle at a not very low temperature at all. It seemed like if it got below 40 degrees, that thing was struggling. But we're seeing systems on the market that can operate and still blow 100% capacity well below freezing temperatures, you know, wet, way down into below zero degrees Fahrenheit. And so that might play a role in all of this too. If your heat pump can operate better than the average bear, then you might set that temperature a little lower instead of burning fuel. And then the last thing I touched on is the type of system you have when it comes to the type of fuel you're burning, and that also plays a role. So some of my customers that have natural gas, and it's not that expensive around where we live, they might set that temperature a little higher. If it gets below you know, that higher temperature, if it gets below 40 degrees, for example, no matter what type of system they have, they don't have a problem burning natural gas because it's not as expensive. But we have some customers that live in rural type areas. They have LP, liquid propane, delivered to their home. It can go up and down in price. And these days, it seems like it goes more up than down. And because of that, they want that temperature to be as low as possible. They want that heat pump to have a chance. They want it to try to heat that home with as little of energy as possible and give that thing a chance before it starts burning that LP. So again, what should that temperature be? I don't know. In fact, no one knows. It all depends on your house. If you're not 100% sure, I would say start with talking to your local pro. They probably have a good idea. And also have that pro teach you how to adjust it. Uh, I have customers that have adjusted it themselves. Now, I know that there's some heating and air companies and technicians that don't want homeowners even knowing how to do stuff like that. But if you have a good heating and air company that is going to at least show you how to operate your own thermostat, then have them show you how to adjust that lockout temperature. And that way you can kind of play with it. You know, you can move it down a little bit and see if it saves you some energy or see if it helps your comfort levels. And so we've done that before with folks. 
All that said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.